Hello dear students. Wish you all very good morning. Welcome you back to English Literature Class. So today we will proceed further with Chapter 8 The Duke of Bridgewater in The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Okay? You know very well Huckleberry and uh, Jim have met two men who are liars and rogues but one of them claimed to be the Duke of Bridgewater and another one claims that is no one but nobody but the King of France. Okay. Though later on Jim and Huckleberry get to know that they are lawyers but as they want to keep patience though patience so uh, they obey they continue owing to the two men okay now the two men form a team and decide to work together this is finalized and when they again night starts they start their journey and and uh, the duke says that the king will have to do an acting okay soon he will have to do acting actually but before that uh, that duke has already said that he knows a lot of things whatever useful things are are he knows he is expert at okay he says that uh, he knows he has knowledge of medicines he's good preacher he teaches singing geography okay everything whatever is useful he knows and uh, king also says that he has also knowledge of medicines and even he has cured people of cancer and paralysis as well okay Say that he says that he is good preacher, very good preacher, and he has worked as a missionary. Okay, missionary means uh, who teaches Christian religion, person who teaches Christian religion. Now, soon they reach the town, and there, Jim, uh, there. Uh, uh, the duke and the king decide to go to the town but Huckleberry also accompanies them saying that he needs to buy some a coffee okay because he's running sort of coffee there's no coffee at all with him so, so now when they reach the town they find that the town is very small and there is no people, there is nobody in that town. All the streets are empty. So he gets from, gets the information from a slave who is just basking in the sun. That all the people have gone to uh, the woods for a camp meeting. That is five kilometers away from that place, that town. Now Duke says that he will go and search for the printing press because you know very well he has said earlier that uh, his planning is to hire a hall and organize a play, Romeo Juliet, that's that uh, balcony scene. Okay? And uh, he wants to give the role of uh, Juliet to the old man. Old man the beginning denies that nobody believed that he is a girl because he has whiskers, he has beard. But uh, the Duke says that people of that uh, town are not uh, very particular. Okay, They only want uh, some kind of entertainment. They only want to laugh. Okay, So it will do. And uh, he, uh, says, he also says that the king uh, will be dressed like a girl. Okay. So, the duke goes for the search of a printing press because he has to get some bills actually printed, hand bills actually. 
and and huckleberry and uh, jim go to uh, the, the camp meeting okay where all the people have gone so what they find there see here what they find they find they find uh, the woods were full of horse teams and wagons okay they find in that what is meaning of woods you know it's a small area covered with trees that is woods they find there are many horses and carriages also because people have come on that uh, horse carriages okay and they find there there were many little stalls they are selling lemonade lem and gingerbread what is lemonade is a mixture of water sugar and lemon juice and gingerbread this is a cake okay flavored with ginger and they also find there are many temporary roofed structure erected means set up okay erected means set up sheds means roof structure means wooden house you can say temporary temporary okay and they find there are many people gathered in those sheds those roof structures now in the first set we came to the preacher who was reading a hymn in the first that wooden house temporary wooden house they see the preacher okay the see a preacher actually who gives religious lecture and he was actually leading a hymn what is hymn you know what is hymn hymn song in praise of god okay song in praise of god this is the song in which we praise god that is hymn so that preacher was has been singing all the people were following him he sang out two lines and then everybody joined in the singing became so loud that were deafening soon the singing became so loud that it seemed that people will become deaf deafening means making people deaf unable to hear anything was a great means loud sound loud voice loud noise and it seemed that nothing can be heard in this way means nothing uh, uh, akalberry and that old man is the king can hear nothing it ended with a final at the end everybody says glory be okay amen at the end of you know at the end of the prayer we say this thing glory be amen glory be to jeho we say and amen means so may it be amen means so may it be amen so may it be this is say at the end of a prayer and after that the people started groaning and crying groaning means 
making a deep loud sound showing great pain okay groaning making a loud complaining sound complaining sound in pain okay all the people started crying and started uh, started making out deep complaining sound painful sound next i knew the king went charging up the stage soon hakel very fine the king goes to the stage very fast means charging means rushing running Hurriedly to the stage, the preacher begged him to speak to the people, and the preacher request the old man to speak to the people, and that is what he wants. He told them he was a pirate in the Indian Ocean, and had been a pirate for thirty years. He says that he has been pirate. Pirate means sea robber. pirate see robber so old man says that he has been a sea robber for 30 years and all of his men all of uh, his army actually his army has become very thin means he has lost many of his men okay so he has come in the fight actually so he has come to take fresh men considerably means very much considerably drably very much okay so old man says that as he says that as uh, his army he has just lost many men in a fight so he has come to that place to take a fresh men okay but as he was on the way he was robbed actually some anti sensual elements robbed him of all the money whatever he had see the last night he had been robbed of everything that he had and was now without a cent and now he says that he has nothing if not even a paise cent means 100 cent means a uh, dollar okay as 100 paise makes a rupee so 100 cents make make a uh, a dollar well dear students that's all more we will just study in the next class hope you have enjoyed this class thank you very much bye bye ciao